So I just want to do a little quick review. I'm installing new graphs on my boat <clears throat> and people are talking about lightweight ways to add graphs but not add the weight of the batteries and not add um, you know a fifth battery or sixth battery to your boat if you're running live scope and you want to run bigger graphs smarter processors all that fun stuff so uh, there's a lot of cool websites and, and groups and forums and stuff out there and one thing I've noticed is a lot of these six to eight amp hours uh, 20 volt DeWalt battery uh, attachments so these batteries are super lightweight they have a digital readout on them this one happens to only be two-thirds because I've been using it for a while um, doing some other stuff but they uh, they make this little adapter it's called sea light it's got pigtails on it you can wire to any graph any live scope uh, I just took it out of the box and I was doing the software updates to this Garmin before I install it on my boat but it is strong enough to power all your stuff so you can have one DeWalt battery running a graph in a live scope and then have one extra DeWalt battery in your boat for a tournament day for if one gets low. Or you could, you know, hook them up in series and run <clears throat> um, two or three batteries all at once, kind of like you do for your trolley motors. So it's just an option. I went ahead and ordered three. I'm going to run, I'm going to keep <clears throat> four DeWalt batteries in my boat three you know hooked up all together that way that's strong enough to power two graphs and a live scope and then one battery for a backup just in case we start to run low on uh, on juice throughout a tournament day but one of the biggest problems with live scope is people's boats aren't wired to run the proper voltage so i don't have live scope hooked up to this graph obviously but if i turn on live scope uh, it won't even let me but it probably give me a voltage on here uh, let's see don't have this hooked up to everything so it might give us a voltage menu settings I'm trying to remember if you can add that on the graph or not I don't think you can let's see user data no more quick draw chart yeah it's not going to give me voltage of the meter on that page And because we're not hooked up to any of our sonars, it's not going to give us that option. Let's see here. Bet if I go to the very home screen and go to system and turn on the simulator, though, it would probably tell us our voltage. Combos. We want sonar. And let's just find live scope. All right. So yeah, it's reading 18.6 volts on this live scope battery. And this battery is only two thirds full. I've been using it for stuff around my shop, but it's a six amp hour battery. Yeah, it's two thirds full according to the side screen. Oh, it's only one third full. Nope, it's two thirds. So two thirds full and it's reading 18.6 volts. When I was running my old live scope, <clears throat> I was running it on the original boat wiring and I was getting a constant error message saying uh, transducer disconnected. Well, one advantage to using the Sea Light battery connection would be not to have A, very long wiring so you're losing voltage, um, but you're running it through the original factoring wiring that's built into the system. And then this is heavy, pretty heavy duty wiring too. It's probably eight. 8 to 10 gauge wiring coming out of this but it's only a foot long so you're not you're not adding a bunch of extra wiring and you can put these in your front compartment wherever your live scope box is and keep a nice steady voltage so if you're looking for a cheap hack uh, get on sea light uh, i believe it's sealight.com but just google sea light milwaukee or sea light dewalt battery pack uh, the one good thing about the dewalt is it's a 20 volt battery connection instead of an 18 volt if you run the milwaukee um, adapter you got to add a voltage regulator to it um, on certain graphs so the Garmin's are able to handle higher than um, 12 volts so make sure that you guys uh, check this out it's a great 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 hack it's able to uh, get you a little bit more voltage to your units to keep them from you and your multi or voltage drop and not add a bunch of extra battery weight to your actual boat so 
If you're looking for that cheap hack, look up the DeWalt, I mean the Sea Light DeWalt battery adapter or the Sea Light Milwaukee battery adapter. And like I said, if you're running different graphs than Garmin, you do have to put that voltage drop on there. The Garmin's have been tested and regulated to be able to handle more voltage. So this should get us a way cleaner picture when we're doing our, our live scope. So we shouldn't have that uh, voltage drop. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, please like and subscribe.